Hello, my beautiful collective. Welcome to Real Tarot with Renee. This is for the sign of Libra. Libra, this is your bonus extended reading, okay? I've been spiritually called to give you a bonus reading, Libras. Yay. Normally, I would vote on this, but it was beyond me. Oh, So, I'm going to do this reading a little differently. I'm going to be pulling from multiple decks um, for your messages, okay? You guys, um, this reading I energetically feel would be just a tad bit different, okay? Uh, we're going to tap into a little bit more into what's going on with you specifically, Libra, and your soul ascension. Um, and whatever comes out in love, finances, career, family is what comes out, okay? So, Libra, this is your bonus extended reading for the sign of Libra. You can have Libra placements anywhere in your chart. Someone rising Venus, North Node, Jupiter, Mars, your um, Lila, any major placements in your chart. Okay, Libra gang gang, someone rising Venus, specifically North Node. Give me messages here. Okay, I'm just gonna put this spread out. Mm -hmm. All right. Just put in the spread out here for you guys. We guys are all doing amazing. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys come in to watch this video so that it could get out to other Libras out there who needs to receive this message. Any message of spirit for Libras high is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Yeah, very important messages as I'm getting here. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's get into it. Grab your coffee. <laughs> Grab your drinky drink. <laughs> your water. Okay. All right. Oh. Very important messages I see here. Okay. Denial, regret. Okay. Okay. Oof. On the split. This is your reading. Cancer. Okay. I'm going to pull both. You could be dealing with both. Or you could have these placements highly in your chart. Okay. But, yeah. Wow. That's so funny on the split. That's what came out. Libra and Cancer. So you guys could be a Libra Sun, Cancer Moon, or Cancer. You could be cross locking Cancer Sun, Libra Moon, because this is for all Libra placements, okay? Let's take it out, resonates. All right. I'm going to take two more from this deck. <clears throat> okay, there's one. The world, yeah, makes sense for the energy that I'm feeling. One more, the tower. Okay, so we got the tower. Oh my! We got the world. We got the tower. I'm actually gonna put it here on this side. Okay, it's it's it doesn't matter which um uh how I place these either. It's just because I'm gonna read the board overall. Okay, guys. Yeah. These are the messages that you actually need to receive at this time for your highest good. And I'm going to pull from this deck here. All right. So I'm going to pull some pieces um, directly from the tarot. These are affirmation cards, by the way. The world and the tower. Those are affirmation cards. Libra Cancer. Okay. All right. And this is your energy that I'm pulling, um, that we're speaking of. Yeah, there we go. Ace of Wands. Love that. Oh, okay. Seven of Pentacles is here. Okay, Libra Gang Gang. We're just going to set it like that. Three of Swords and Five of Wands. Okay, so for your highest good, Libra Gang Gang, I'm going to just set these over here like this, right? And I'm going to pull two more from the tarot. 
There's one, Ten of Pentacles. There, look at that. Yeah, that's good. And Nine of Cups, okay. So this is good. So this is pretty much good. So the World card is out, okay, which is telling me that you guys are going into a, um, a new cycle. You're closing out uh, old cycles. Okay, which is a really good place to be in at this time for you guys. Okay, uh, we got the world card and we have self-love, unconditionally accept yourself unapologetically. Okay, so these is beautiful cards to have for you, Libra. And a uh, spirit is saying, uh, new moon and Taurus, you really need to know your worth when it comes to dealing with matters, whether they're with people and or uh, with regards to your business affairs. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just and, and just knowing your worth within yourself, period. That's so important, okay? I feel like the energy here is just that I feel like you guys have been going through uh, a lot of different cycles within your life about your self-worth. You're putting up with a lot of things that you really didn't need to put up with, okay? Being in denial about people, places, or things. Uh, specifically people in this regard, okay, um, that you knew didn't serve you well. Uh, I feel like you look for, it's like you overlooked the the the, the red flags. I don't want to say the bad in people, but necessarily because we all have our ways and things like that. But I feel like you really overlooked the things um, that you needed to see in people and was pretty much in denial, um, ignoring the red flags. Okay, Libra Gang Gang. For some of you guys, this is within uh, yourselves or in other people, or you could be dealing with another Libra, taking our resonance, um, and you know, and living in a lot of regret. It says, "I know that I cannot change the past." Yeah, either you or someone else, but this is specifically I ask for your um, for your energy. So a lot of you guys are you regret going down certain paths and things like that, um, and you went down those paths. Um, not knowing your worth, okay? Yeah, and um, and a lot of it is just like you were you were in denial a lot of, about a lot of people, or you just kind of overlook things with people uh, to avoid tower moments, okay? But that's inevitable. Change is inevitable, okay? You guys are going through a rebirth right now. This tower was necessary for you guys to get to closing out these old cycles so that you can have uh, a new beginning, a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands here, okay? That's going to catapult you forward into your Ten of Pentacles, okay? So this is your um, this is your material wealth. You see it says lasting security here. This is where you guys are headed, okay? The world card here in the upright is showing you that you are closing out old cycles, okay? And it's like you're letting your fears dissolve finally, but you have to come out of denial and regret about things that happened in your past and letting things go. Spirit is saying that travel is upcoming. Uh, you have travel, uh, upcoming travel, a trip, upcoming trip could be life-changing, recharging, and much needed. So if you guys, um, you guys, some of you guys, uh, lucky number seven, again, 52 equals seven, five plus two is seven. Some of you guys are planning a trip and um, it's much needed. You need this getaway. You need to, you know, recharge, reboot. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Get away from people. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of refresh um, your energy, if you will. Okay. Uh, you guys could have cancer in your chart to be dealing with a cancer strong in your energy or you guys could be a cancer moon, cancer rising or something like that. Cancer north node. Take it out. It resonates. However, you with this cancer energy is also, this is, the, is uh, cancer is always an intuitive card for me. You guys are finally also using your intuition, okay, about um, things that um, no longer serve you, okay? You know, uh, five of wands has been a lot of conflict or whatever, and a lot of heartbreak that you guys have gone through with the three of swords. This um, energy that you guys have been holding on to is um, 
you're I feel like you're now releasing it and you do need to release this energy uh Libra gang game because it's not serving your highest good. I think you guys come to the to the terms a lot of you have come to terms with this energy, okay? And you doing the work is now taking you into your nine of cups. Your wishes are being fulfilled now, right? Absolutely. Those of you who've been waiting on that money to come by tomorrow, it's here. It's but tomorrow's Monday, okay? So you guys, depending on how long <laughs> it takes YouTube to load this video on, on your behalf, but mm -hmm. you're going to get some news that you got this big Ten of Pentacles coming your way by tomorrow for a lot of you guys. And I, and I usually don't like to timestamp things uh, when it comes to wish fulfillments, but for some of you that are watching, your wishes are coming in by tomorrow within 24 hours. I stand firm on that. If you have been, um, if you guys have been going through a period of uh, this past week specifically, um, not being able to sleep or get rest um, the way you feel like you have, it's because you're anxious about what's coming in, okay? Um, I could feel that energy strong. Um, and that's probably why you have the five of wands here because there's like conflict, right? It's just like that inner conflict. That conflict is keeping you from uh being able to sleep or whatever but this is also conflict that's been around you surrounding you in your energy people sending you negative energy um unbeknownst to you or beknownst to you take it how it resonates and um i'm about to see why uh, we have five of wands here in your energy um conflict for some of you guys it is inner conflict okay because with you guys i'm gonna tell you why you guys um some of you guys are in denial of having to walk away from what no longer serves you, people, places, or things. Um, and that's been a really major challenge for you, uh, this change. Um, Tower 16 card here, number seven. Um, this is seven is lucky number seven. And for you guys, that's um it's a good tower. This is this is not a negative tower. This is a really good, this is a good tower. Um, that's in your energy. But however, there are people in your energy with the five of wands who's trying to create conflict for you from having this forward movement. Um, they are in a tower. Um, they're in a tower negatively while your tower is um, moving you positively forward. You have the ace of wands, the knight of cups, the ten of pentacles, three of swords. Yeah, it's like you, you've gone through so much severe heartbreak, but spirit is bringing you out of that. That's a tower for some people because people, there's a lot of people in your energy who likes to see you in this energy, right? It's very heartbreaking for you. A lot of you guys are still holding on to this heartbreak because um, you regret moving forward without these people. But the part of that is your denial of who they are. You have to see people for who they are, not what you want them to be. Four of Pentacles uh, to the Knight of Wands. Yeah. So there is a Sagittarius. Yeah. Five of Wands conflict. Okay. So five of wands, okay, uh, clarifying that is the four of pentacles and the knight of wands. So you guys are having a passionate, uh, 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 you have a passionate movement forward and stability, okay? And uh, for some people, that's a conflict. Uh, for them okay this also represents uh could be a fire sign that's holding on um, very tight to you okay and that could be conflict for you guys as well yeah queen of cups okay there could be a queen of cups or you could be embodying the queen of cups yeah there's that and there and there it is because cancer came out that's in your energy yeah the empress so that's you with your loving self yeah empress libra come on libra libra energy right so we got Queen of Cups and the Empress, okay? This is your energy, um, okay? And Queen of Cups, look, Cancerian energy here, all right? And, and here you are with the Cancer. And there's Libra, Empress energy. Come on, Spirit. Yes. So you guys are in this loving energy. You guys are... I feel like some of you guys are birthing new ideas as well. You're nurturing yourselves. You're giving yourself the self-love, okay? All right? You're giving yourself this self-love. And this is bothering so many people um, to see you in this energy. Um, because I feel like maybe in the past, you didn't always give yourself the love that you so desperately needed to yourself. I feel like a lot of you guys look for it through other people like you look for the love that you gave to other people 
um, and you you was expecting that to be reciprocated. And I think naturally, we all expect that love that we give to be reciprocated. But unfortunately, you weren't one who was on the receiving end of that. And that caused a lot of conflict in uh, your... Um, and your forward movement. Yeah, two of pinnacles, okay? So you guys are now starting to prioritize yourselves. And that's a good thing. And people don't like that. People don't like it when you put yourself first. Yeah, yeah. And so it's leaving others in, uh, you know, regret. Okay? A lot of regret here. And that's, look, wow, five of cups. <laughs> that's what regret is. Thank you, spirit. Yeah, five of cups, regret. So this is this is leaving a lot of people in regret on how they um, mishandled you, how they moved with you. Thank you, Spirit, for these confirmations. Damn. Okay, I'm gonna pull from another deck. Don't worry. Uh, what else? Um, for yeah, Eight of Swords, Nine of Cups. Yeah. So again, you're leaving a lot of people in mental conflict because you're out here about to get this, uh, this this level up. Okay with a nine of cups you, all your wishes are about to be fulfilled and and you have people in your energy right now who is full of conflict stress and mayhem that you're getting this okay and it's causing a tower it's definitely causing a tower your your tower um which is your change your positive change is a negative for for others okay and that's just that on that this is what spirit needs you to know the point of this reading, this bonus reading for you guys is for you to be able to understand that it's okay to let go of your fears, to dissolve them, okay? Uh, let your fears to dissolve, let, let them dissolve, okay? Um, because a lot of what held you back was your fears. Fears of losing people specifically that you really love and care about. But I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to put you on to a little secret. If those people who you fear losing so much really care about you, a few things are going to happen or won't happen. They'll, they'll either elevate themselves and do the work on themselves to meet you where you are, where you're at now with your growth and your involvement, or they will stay stuck and stagnant and continue to send you negative energy and be spiteful towards you or whatever. Either way, um, you're going to win. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. You're going to win either way. Yeah, you're going to overcome. Thank you. You're going to overcome adversity regardless. So it's, so it's in your best interest to keep moving ahead. Adversity is here. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Yeah. So this is, and, and this is also for the cross watcher who could be in this energy with you, Libra gang gang. They, they all either because this is adversity for them as well to to come out of this energy with you to stop hating on you and sending you conflict uh energy you get what i'm saying there's a lot of conflict energy here in this reading okay yeah they wanted to create self-doubt uh for you but you're coming out of that i released the need to know all the answers yeah because it don't matter what they got going on how they feel it's just like a lot of times just like damn why they keep doing me like this why is this the da 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 da, da? or you know if you'll let them you know um make you doubt yourself you get what i'm saying but here's the thing you're not doing that anymore you can't i think you're in a place now libra gang gang to where self-doubt is no longer an option for you okay it's just not you got you guys got to keep moving forward it's like you've already graduated and you feel guilty um, for, um, leaving others, you know, in the dust, but that's, yeah, that's not your, that's not your business. That's, it's okay. The way others view you is none of your business. Thank you, spirit. It's not your business how these people are perceiving you or, or, um, you know what I'm saying? Or having issues, conflict issues with you. Um, you know what I'm saying? These are the same people who, who send you negative energy, but they fake and smile in your face. Yeah. Fast. All you need is water. Is spirit saying, yeah. You don't need to be dealing with drama um, and these energies and connections that you're that's surrounding you. Yeah, the hermit. Yeah, you guys have been holding your head down, very much focused, focus on what it is that you're set out to do. And your focus in hermit mode, Virgo energy, is what's um, catapulting you to the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Period. Right? You've gone already gone deep within. It's time for these people to do the same or whatever. But this is like a lot of focus on what you got going on. Yeah, the higher fitness here. Spiritual lessons are being learned. And I feel like you guys learned them. 
right? This is um, people who have different belief systems than you. Um, people who just do things different than you. Scorpio energy. You guys can have Scorpio in your chart or you could be dealing with Scorpios or Take it out, it resonates. Yeah, you're a messenger. Speak your truth. And this has been bothering people too. You've been speaking your truth. People don't like that, right? So this is also where this conflict, this conflict magic comes in to play, okay? Um, you know, when you start speaking your truth, that creates conflict or whatever. But I feel like you are in the energy now where you, you're not caring or you don't need to care what other people think, okay? Because again, the way other people think of you is not that's none of your business. Yeah. The emperor, you guys is going into boss mode, Aries energy, right? You guys are going into boss mode. Emperor energy, period. Right? Yeah. All the sacrifices you made are now paying off. Yeah, because you got the Ten of Pentacles here for sure. Okay? Wish fulfillment here. Yeah, can't make it up. And your Ace of Wands, it's passionate new beginning. Very fiery, passionate new beginning at that. You also got the Knight of Wands here. Okay, there's like forward movement. You know, the Knight of Wands is movement. That's hot movement. You know, some something coming in hot. <laughs> it's coming in hot. Drop them. Okay, okay, drop those to Spirit. You know, Spirit, get the gossip and carry them. <laughs> Y'all know how spirit get, okay? Yeah, argue for your limitations and you get to keep them. Absolutely. So the arguing for your limitations is you setting boundaries with people, okay? Because you're, you know, yeah, you're not, you're not here for it. You and and this, remember I just said um, just a few minutes ago, you, some of you guys have been wondering why you haven't been able to to rest. You're kind of anxious. You haven't been sleeping well, but spirit is telling you rest and rejuvenate. And I know it's been hard for me because I have a lot on my plate. And people don't understand, like, what people think you should be doing and how you should be doing it and, you know, all that. People, I only show people so much of what really be going on in my life, but I have a lot of responsibility. And sometimes people try to give you extra responsibility. That's not your responsibility um, or whatever. You help when you can, right? And people fail to realize that um, your life and how it's set up, it's, you know, some of y'all have a lot of uh, people that you, that depend on you. Okay. And you can't get to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's very hard. Yeah. Cause there's money opportunities here. Yeah. You need to rest and rejuvenate for yourself for these money opportunities coming in. They're coming in. Whew, can't make it up. Yeah. Stay focused. Remember why you started. Exactly. This is why you got the hermit card here. You know, you 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 needing to stay focused. Number nine, yeah. There's this number nine is also your your wish. This is look, nine of cups, nine of cups, nine. This is your wishes wishes uh, coming true, coming in. You guys got to focus on what you got going on, and others need to focus on what they got going on. You have people depending on you to do things that you that they really need to put the hard work and effort in for themselves. Yeah, new direction, Aries. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so you guys can have Aries in your chart. Be dealing with the air, dealing with the Aries. So it could not resonate, but there's a new direction coming in with this connection. Yeah, and no matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I am safe. Okay, so you are safe. This is spirit protecting you guys as well. All right. So this is these are very uh, important messages for you, uh, love bugs. Okay, that you guys need to just kind of take heed of. All right, I'm gonna just pull from the intuitive deck to kind of see what other messages there is for you guys. Okay, um, a lot of you guys on um, this new direction, you're taking a new direction away from an Aries, um, and I feel that very strong. Some of you guys are dealing with Aries. Um, could um and this is not all of you some of you or whatever um but there there's some of these signs that's in your energy it's not for your highest good and these people know this okay they know this um so it's very important that you stay clear in your own energy um so that you could just focus on all the good things that is happening to you people are trying to send you negative energy um or whatever it's backfiring don't worry okay just continue to you know, do your prayers and everything like that. But the universe is all, and this is why spirit is protecting you. All right. Libra gang gang. Thank you guys for all tuning in to the reading. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys come in. 
Okay, spirit with the gossip. I said, oh, spirit about to start. Oh, spirit about to start gossiping. A little bit, spirit. <laughs> mm hmm. No, I said, just click. Something just clicked in somebody's energy. Okay, drop this one. Okay. Yeah, it backfired, just like I said. Damn. Yeah, so a lot of people <laughs> that's in your energy, um, trying to get in your energy, uh, send you negative energy, it all backfired. It did. This is why you're going in a new direction from these people. They feel it. They feel it. They feel it strong. Okay. Um, you know, but it's it's for you to protect yourself and give yourself self-love. These are the same people that you gave so much love to. But they, you know, they found every opportunity to, you know, try to one-up you, talk about you behind your back, you know what I'm saying, gossip about you. Yeah, keeping conflict and confusion coming in. Don't play with me. Yeah, look it, listen. Don't ever play with Auntie Nay, okay? These people kept kept drama, bullshit, and mayhem going. Where is that damn card? Um, <laughs> Kept drama, bullshit, and mayhem going. With this conflict. Yes. Five of Wands. That's exactly what this is. Just like I said. Conflict and, 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 and confusion. It's just like. It's like anytime you looked up. It's like damn. And they'd be with the same people. But they always. You know. I say these are the people. Aries. Scorpio. Um, cancer. You get what I'm saying? Um, just to name a few. Taurus. Possibly. Right? Not necessarily. But just take it out of resonance. But this is people who threw their hands. You know what I'm saying? Threw stones and hit their hands. You know, it's just like, it's now catching up to them. Backfire. They lied, but uh, yeah, exactly. They lied on you, but you know the truth. Fear you'll retaliate against them. Yeah, people lying on you, causing uh, causing all kind of drama, chaos, and, and bullshit behind the scenes when it came to y'all. Yeah, secret bisexual lover, you met them and didn't know it. Yeah, so this is like past love um, issues. Some of you guys are in the same sex relationship okay um pe this is all people karmic sending you negative energy and just yeah some and something just click within them yeah they're slow as fuck incoming yeah because they're getting this incoming message like damn they really not messing with me like that no we not libra gang gang look stand up yeah for real for real okay it says you're out of my league but i want to try uh i want to try anyway so some of you guys got somebody who who feels like um you you radiate above them, but they want to try with you anyways, okay? Some of this is good. Some of this is bad, but I'm going to get into another uh, deck here in a minute. Uh, Gots to be more careful dealing with these individuals, though, okay? Yeah, coming out of denial. I can't stop loving you. This shit is killing me. Yeah, it's killing them. They love you. Yeah, you're not crazy. Just trust your intuition. Yeah, you got, there's, there's a connection here. There's undeniable chemistry. You got to have it. Okay. Or they feel like they have to have it or whatever. This is somebody who wants to be with you, um, but feel like, you know, you're out of their league, but they're going to try anyways to make this right. So for some of you guys, this somebody is about to try to step up their game and meet you to where you're at because you've leveled, for some of you guys, you've, you've leveled up so high or whatever it's causing this person a lot of conflict and confusion because now it's just like damn now whether this is a love situation a family situation or whatever it's just like now people are starting to look at you it's like this this person libra is unstoppable they're untouchable yes on purpose like unstoppable untouchable you can't get with this type of energy that's what y'all own or whatever and it's not to be snooty or anything like that it's all about you learning you have already learned your lessons that's what it is and that's you know sending people into a frenzy because a lot of people who weren't ready to grow in that regard it was hoping you never learned your lessons because as long as you didn't learn your lessons you were easily to uh, man manipulate it was easy uh to uh control in their minds you get what i'm saying because you were soft you would, you know, a lot of you guys were soft on these individuals who was out here behind the scenes doing you dirty. You know, they wanted to keep you in that energy or whatever. Control, manipulation. For a lot of you guys, it was emotional manipulation at that. The worst kind of, that's to me the worst kind of manipulation you could um, impose on someone. Um, it's emotional manipulation because it's like you're um, pulling on someone's heartstrings because you know they're soft for you. 
and I think that's just really not cool, okay? Um, but people do it, you know, and they and they do it with a straight face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then when you catch on to what's really going on, it's like now you the problem. No, it's just like I'm just not you play I'm not letting you play in my face no more. So that's that's where you differ, you know what I'm saying? Um, you stop letting people play in your face and you know, be goofy with you and all of that. So, um, those days is like long gone oh, and over. Um, you're now in the energy of elevating, being um, a better person uh, for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you're just growing. You know, a lot of you guys, you know, we're all getting older. We want things. We want, we want, we want better for our lives. You know, don't nobody want to be in that same um, manipulative ass energy. You know what I'm saying? Going through the same um, BS and mundane, you know, day to day. Like nobody wants that. Okay. But you got some people who are just very complacent and the energy, you know, that they're in, you know, faking the funk, you know, faking it till they make it type energy. You know, I don't want to be in the energy of faking it till I make it. I want to be in the I made it and I ain't got to fake it no more <laughs> energy, right? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, a lot of people, there's a lot of growth needs, needs to happen for a lot of people. And, um, a lot of people is just stuck, unfortunately. And the fact that you're no longer stuck is causing a lot of stress, chaos, and mayhem, okay? So let's get into it with regards to your love life here for some of you guys. Uh, for all of you guys, not some of you guys, but all of you guys. Um, what's coming up for you uh, specifically, directly in love? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me messages. From my Libra gang, gang, yeah, past life uh, relationship, yeah, you have uh, known each other for uh, in a past lifetime before romantic feelings. So if you guys is wondering if the energy uh, or the person you're thinking about as has romantic feelings for you, um, this I feel like this is mutual energy. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, okay, so this is mutual energy. I feel strong. Um, past life relationship, you've known each other before from a previous lifetime. Okay. So a lot of you guys are going into a new relationship, um, whether it's with a past person or a new person. This new person could also be coming in from a past love life, uh, a past life relationship as well. But some of you guys, it's a relationship that never got off the ground. That's the truth. Give me more. Okay, spirit, what is it? Yeah, let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Yeah. So if you've been trying to control a narrative with someone, um, spirit is asking you at this time to let that go. Let it unfold naturally. You don't have to force anything in this here connection because it's going to come. Yeah, passion. Woo! Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, okay? So you guys are headed towards a passion, a new beginning in love. Okay, those future, those feelings um, are mutual um, with regards to this uh, love connection, all right? I'm going to pull two more because I like to do things in sixes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so this is someone that um, is not typically your type. It could be an age difference for some of you guys. It could just be a t difference in lifestyles. Uh, religious beliefs, anything like that, okay? Uh, Libra Gang Gang, thank you guys for tuning in to your bonus reading. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button, okay? If you'd like to donate, hit that heart. Thank you. Yeah, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Yeah, so if you guys have been stuck or feeling stuck, it's free, free yourself from this energy of, I'm not gonna, oh, woe is me. <laughs> I'm not gonna find love. Don't nobody want me, child. You are a Libra. Everybody wants you. <laughs> Believe it. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. I'm going to tell you why. Because we're actually one of the most loving signs in the entire Zodiac. For some of us who don't have a beating heart. And we have that. We are the only sign in the Zodiac that does not have a beating heart. Isn't that something? And, the, and it's so crazy because 
we have the biggest heart. Ain't that something? I see it. I see. I see. It's a card in here that don't go. It's a card in here that don't go. I seen it. Let me show her again. I could be wrong, but I kind of sore. Because sometimes these cards, I'll be shuffling, and maybe other cards getting stuck. <laughs> Maybe other cards getting stuck, y'all. Yeah. Let me see. Is that it? Oh, no. It's just a reflection. All right. All right. So, let's get into a past life relationship. What is it? What is this spirit for the past life relationship? Oh, justice. Yeah. So this past life relationship that's coming in is about to bring you karmic justice. Libra gang gang stand up. Okay. Yep. There it is. Clarifying past life relationship. Okay. And then you have page of pentacles. So there is a love offer that is coming in. Okay. From a past life connection. I'm going to put them both there. What's the romantic feelings? Okay. Spirit. All right, King of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's a King of Pentacles um, um, that wants to come in towards you with the Three of Pentacles and put some work in. They want to work together with you um, on this connection because they, they, I told you, it was mutual feelings, period. I know that's right. Yeah, let go of control issues. Why is this here, spirit? Drop it. Yeah, the devil. <laughs> Codependency energy, yeah. So this is, yeah, this is, this is that negative energy um, that you guys have been, that you be in Capricorn energy. Yeah, let go of con control issues, or this could be this, a person that's in your energy who um, is hanging on to you or is codependent on your energy, okay, who could, could have tried to control you in some way, that double energy, destructive. Yeah, that's destructive. The devil, that's what it says. Yeah, destructive, indulgence, okay? You wanting to control a situation is destructive to uh, your forward movement. Thank you, spirit. Mm. Let's, I know y'all like, dang, auntie. Yeah, but for real, for real. Yeah, what's passion? Give me passion, spirit, for the collective, for my Libra gang gang. What is it? Yeah, the lovers. Woo, how, how is it that the lovers is, ooh, with passion? Oh my God, so this is strong. So this person has deep feelings for you. Like, come on, you got passion and the lover's Gemini energy here. I can't make this up. Thank you, spirit. So this person, not only, um, they have, I mean, they're just in love with you. I don't even know what to say. I mean, and probably obsessively. This King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it could be any sign you're embodying this energy. Let's keep an open mind. Okay, I saw a flipper. The, okay, I kind of saw our ain't it? A, oh, it flipped back. It flipped back. Okay, or did it? Okay, no, there it is. All right, yeah, two of pentacles releases. Yeah, so two of pentacles is in the reverse, releasing of. Uh, priorities, okay? So somebody is no longer juggling, right? Going back and forth in their mind about this connection, yep. Because in the upright, Two of Pentacles is juggling, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get their priorities straight, but somebody has decided that you are the priority. Yeah, King of Wands, clarifying free yourself, okay? So there's a King of Wands in your energy who could have freed themselves for you. I cannot make it up. There it is, King of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, strong man, yeah. Woo, give me more. What's this page? Yeah, six of wands. So they definitely want victory and success in this connection, or so do you. Take it our resonance. Yep. Yeah. Drop it. Yep. Yeah. Ten of wands. It's too much of a heavy burden to be without you. And that's for sure. Yes. So this is someone who thinks about you day and night, night and day, constantly. Um, you know, trying to figure out and devise a plan. Dropping, yeah, five of wands, yeah, conflict, yeah, two of swords, yeah. So the conflict is was has been uh, making a decision, a difficult decision, or whatever. Um, it could be surrounding family or just things in their life that they had to prioritize in order to get to you or sacrifice. Okay, why is this? Yeah, what's that? What is that? Four of swords, yeah, needing to lay something to rest. For some of you guys, yeah, it could be uh whatever their priorities was, 
okay? They needed to lay those to rest. Basically, they needed to clear up um, some, um, a bunch of things that they had going in their lives. Yeah. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And part of that uh, was to relieve past, relieve past trauma, okay? Right? With the Nine of Swords. So some of them needed to release this anxiety that they had or release some type of past trauma within this connection, right? That's caused conflict and a heavy burden, right? In order for them to be successful with you, they had to release a lot of things, okay? They needed to clear out old baggage, old wounds. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Will of Fortune so that they could have this just beautiful twist of fate. Yeah, with the Will of Fortune, good things are coming in. A lot of you guys, ex yeah, that lucky twist of fate, expect that money coming in. Yeah, because um, in reality, this person is in deep anguish. Look how he's like screaming like, whew. You know, for some of you guys, this is also the energy, um, the Will of, uh, the Ten of Swords falling on the Will of Fortune. The tables is turned on this person, which is another reason why they're in the Nine of Swords. And because this person is in love with you, but they have to they had to come out of um, a lot of uh, negative energy here. You had the uh, and part of that negative energy was this devil on uh, uh, clarifying the letting go of control issues. This is part of this person's problem as well. Conflict. OK, I feel like this person did a lot of um, conflict magic. OK, uh, did a lot of destructive things, sabotaging. Um, is the energy that I feel here because you got the two of swords, will of fortune, ten of swords, the nine of swords. This is a lot of damn swords. Do you get what I'm saying? It's a lot of swords. So this person could have been going through some real deep mental anguish um, as well. Drop it. Yeah. Queen of wands, eight of cups. Yeah. So some of them had to walk away from what no longer serves them. Mm-hmm. And come out of this stagnant or come out of a stagnant routine. There's a Queen of Wands that's here. We got a King of Wands and a Queen of Wands on the board. Yeah. Um, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy here. Okay. So they had to come out of this this stagnant energy and 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 walk away from what no longer serves them. That could be your energy as well, because of how this person's energy was with you. Check it out, resonates. Tell me more about this love situation. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Yeah, to the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, this is the truth. So, you guys are also about to learn some truth, um, too, that um, your person had to walk away from a Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Are they learn a truth about a queen of pentacles? Could be a mother figure. Why is this? Yeah, because of two of cups. King of cups. Yeah. You guys could also be embodying the queen of cups energy. I mean, queen of uh, pentacles energy. Two of cups. Somebody could have walked away, found out a truth, and walked away from a Queen of Pentacles, or um, yeah, yeah, they could have walked away from a Queen of Pentacles to go towards a Two of Cups, this King of Cups energy, because they wanted the peace, and I felt like this Queen of Pentacles could have not um been so peaceful. Um, yeah, third party energy. Thank you, Three of Cups, causing a lot of strife, chaos, and mayhem. Yeah. Who's now feeling left out in the cold, or they could have left been felt feeling left out in the cold by this person. Yeah, hangman. Yeah, stuck. Mm -hmm. But somebody's made some sacrifice to come towards you in this King of Cups energy. But in order to do that, they needed to walk away, right? From a Queen of Pentacles. We have a Queen of Wands here as well. Queen of Wands, um, Queen of Wands could have been uh, a past lover. Who could have been their wife. Or you guys could be embodying this energy. Take it how it resonates. Okay. I feel it in both in both ways. I'm getting multiple downloads. But yeah. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. Somebody. Yeah. This King of Cups is holding on to you. And they had to sacrifice walking away from this mother energy or this motherly. It's, it could be their wife. It could be their actual birth mother. 
or something like that. But they had to walk away. That's the truth. Ace, Ace, of, Ace of Swords is here. Can't deny it. Yeah, they found out some truth, some clarity in this situation. What else? Yeah. Knight of Cups. Yeah, so now they want to come in and have, um, I mean, basically come in as your knight in shining armor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And put it into something so that they can have a rebirth with you. And that's period. Yeah. Four of Cups. There's an offer that they want to make, but they're scared that it will be an ending and that you won't take their hand. Yeah. The Emperor. Yeah. So this Emperor, Aries Energy, does want to come in and make something right. Okay. They've gone really deep within with the Hermit uh, card here, Virgo Energy. Soul searching. Yeah. On their wishes. Like you're their wish. Star energy here, Aquarian energy. Okay, they're they're going towards this bright opportunity, which is y'all, Libra gang gang. Yeah, seven of cups. Yeah, coming out of the illusions of this connection, wanted to do something grand, but also coming in very wounded with the nine of wands energy here. Okay, somebody also tried to block this connection as well. I believe it could have been this Queen of Pentacles. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Because now they're in the Eight of Swords energy. Mental conflict and confusion. Yeah. Um, because now they're they tried to create so much self-doubt about you when it came to forward movement for your person coming into forward movement with you. Yeah, look, didn't I say you, Empress? Don't play with me. Don't I if I don't know nothing else, I know my energy. Libra gang gang, stand up in your reading. Yeah, they tried to block this and keep your person in the eight of swords. It didn't work. It backfired, which came out. Yeah, when it came to you guys having this love connection and being in a uh, being together with the four of wands here. Okay, four of wands is my 11 11 card. Okay, that's that soulmate, that's divine union, this love relationship. This is somebody who see you as marriage material. Okay, empresses. Yes. Yeah, the fool. There they are taking that leap of faith, Aquarian energy. I can't make it up. Yeah. Yep. Period. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles here. Period. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. So, Knight of Pentacles is because it's like they want to win with you no matter what. Okay. They want to give, have this equal give and take, but they have to sacrifice something which which really really hard so in if you go back to the initial spread part of that was denial so it wasn't just you, you guys going through this energy um but it was also your person had it, having to go through this energy and learn some lessons too off the top yeah they want the reunion six of cups okay so your person had to go through this ascension as well and um go through some um very painful endings in order to get to you because what it boiled down to is that it's like your person was also sacrificing their happiness to make others around them happy. And it kept them in this Nine of Swords energy. It's just like someone forcing you to be away from your true love um, type energy. It's literally what was going on here um, for a lot of y'all, okay? And for some of you guys, you felt that this this King of Wands, Leo Aries Sagittarius didn't have love for you. Uh, could have been how they ended the situation or whatever. Come to find out, the truth of the matter is it was going, dealing with a lot of conflict behind the scenes, right? But they are coming to bring you this offer. There's a lot of love here, a lot of passion, a lot of romantic feelings when it comes to this connection. I I mean, I can't make these cards flip the way out, out the way they flip. It's just the truth. And... You know, these are things that is being revealed to you uh, for some of you guys a lot sooner than what you think. Um, I feel like there's a lot of unspoken truths in this connection. And um, all of those things, all of those unspoken truths are coming to an end. And the truth is going to be spoken. The Ace of Swords did fall out. Um, so it's about that time for you guys to move on to the next phase of your journey, which is to be to, um, together with your, your person, your soulmate, for some of you guys, your twin flame. Um, and that's just that, um, your person was just basically trying to, um, come out of conflict, um, with, you know, family, um, an old marriage, um, or come out of a marriage for some of you guys. 
and it was taking a bit longer than what anticipate you know what they anticipated um but it's also because they also have to go through their own deep ascension um as well and to gain courage and um you know kind of set their priorities and get their their life in order okay because I think one thing your person did not want to do is come back to you raggedy. Um, and so that's commendable, <laughs> you know, that your person didn't want to come back to you in that messed up, you know, kind of energy. They wanted to come basically whole, um, not needing um, to depend on you for much. Okay. Or, um, you know what I'm saying? Or just take you through any more drama or uh, mental anguish than, than what they already have. Okay, so I'm going to pull some uh, messages from um, the Twin Flame um, and Separation messages and also from the Hidden Truth Oracle, okay? So Hidden Truths about your connection um, as well as the messages that they would want to speak to you or say to you. Um, things that even if you're in communication with them, but you feel like they're not actually saying everything that they feel or what's going on with them or you know i feel like some of you guys were dealing with um an individual who who was very careful with their words because they don't want to say the wrong thing but in reality this is what they would like to say to you all right when times got rough i gave up on you too soon yeah yeah or they could have said these things take it out resonates yeah um, our beliefs were just too different. I couldn't reconcile mine with yours. Yeah. So again, remember I said, you know, with the Hierophant card coming out, you guys could have had different belief systems, different upbringings and things like that. And for some of you guys who are in that energy, they had to unlearn the things that they were taught as, you know, growing up um, by that Queen of Pentacles or whoever raised them. Um, yeah, because now it's not serving them for their highest good, um, which is why there's so much conflict, right? Because conflict and confusion came out in the intuitive day. Um, I want to hold you again. I need to fill your body next to mine. Yeah, so this is someone who really wants intimacy with you. I saw Pat, you, we saw passion and romantic feelings coming out. So here it is, okay? And your silence feels safer to me. I don't want to get hurt again, okay? So being without you is really hurting them. Um, but at the same time, I feel like your silence, um, your silence feels safer. You guys could have had really, a really bad falling out and the words that were exchanged like really hurt this person so you being silent feels better than hearing the harsh truth for some of them um yeah unfortunately yeah yeah and it says i always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world yeah this is somebody that's like they're always looking for you they're always looking to feel your energy um always looking to be in your energy yeah i'm working on myself so i can give you the love and relationship you deserve i told y'all that's why they're in hermit mode. They didn't want to come up. They didn't want to come back to you in the same energy they left you in. So they had to go deep within, do some soul searching, and clear out cycles. Yeah, Set, setting their priorities. Two of Pentacles um, that came on the reverse as well. I love you, but I'm afraid to reach out and have you reject me. So your person, they love you so much, but they just something within them they feel like because so much happened in the past. That if they come to you with a love offer, that you'll reject that love offer. And that's that's going to hurt them the most. But I, energetically, I don't feel that to be the case. I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like they they just don't know what to do. They, they know they got to do something, though. The thought of you with someone else drives me crazy. Yes. Devil card did come out. Yeah. They don't want that now. <laughs> They're going to take the sleep of faith. Yeah, but this is what they want to say. Yeah, they can't take it. They're not telling you this, though. See what I'm saying? Like, these are hidden secrets. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. Yeah. Yeah, walking around with a tight-ass chest, you know, being insecure. And the, and the whole time, you, like, all I want to do is love you. But, oh, God, they was just going through so much. This poor baby. Okay, so I'm going to pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle. I'm going to a few messages here. And then I'm going to end this reading love box, okay? Yeah, this is... I know it's a doozy. It's a doozy. 
it is a doozy okay but it's okay it's okay this love is coming in this new moon is bringing a lot of things into fruition right good and bad closing out old toxic cycles so that you guys could you know have a beautiful new beginning what's the messages from the hidden oracle true yeah we will be together again and you will if y'all want this to work it will it will always work if you want it to work if you both put in the hard work and effort and and close out uh naysayers it'll work i know that i crossed the line with you yeah so that's why regret came out as well your person was also in denial okay they know they crossed the line they know they took it too far oh child yeah they knew they took things a little bit too far and it was too late by the time they did it yeah i hope that you could forgive me one day yeah because they feel like you haven't fully forgiven them or forgiven them at all and so this is what's kind of eating at them but you know for some of you guys i feel like you have forgiven them it's just like you just ain't forgot they would they would prefer to, to, that you forgot that you forget <laughs> right so yeah it was my fault and i blamed you yeah they know this. They know this. This is a very hard pill for them to swallow. Um, and this is, you know, part of the part of the lessons, you know, these hard lessons they had to learn. Yeah. Yeah, look, I've buried myself in work to forget you, but they can't. They they could work all day, all night, it don't matter, double shifts, but the whole time they at work, they still thinking about you. Yeah, I'm not available. Yeah, because that's what they do when they're working so much. Yeah. They working so much trying to forget about you, but they can't. I am so attracted to you. Oh my goodness. This baby. Yeah, they are. You Libra. Yeah, I regret lying to you. Yep, they weren't honest with you about how they felt, what they wanted from this connection, and it all backfired. Finding out the truth crushed me. Yeah. Yeah, probably find out the truth that you really love them. Somebody could have lied and said that they you didn't. And that's why they did all this other goofy stuff. Yeah, and I'm becoming a better person. I told y'all, they've been working on themselves. They want to come back better for you. You know what I'm saying? So that you guys could have this. Because they, they said we will be together again. Right here. We will be together again. They're going to make sure of it. They're going to come back better, stronger, more beautiful, more loving, more caring, more... You know, sympathetic, empathetic, all of that. Yeah, I lost myself for a little while. Mm -hmm. They was really going through it. What else? What else, Spirit? Okay. Yeah, and I can't stop thinking about you. Didn't I say? No matter how much work they do, overtime, double time, triple time, they cannot stop thinking about you, Libra, gang, gang. They love you. You are their person. And that's just that on that. Nobody can um, take that away from y'all um, as much as others would like to. It's just they can't, okay? Right? What's the uh, foreseeable future? Yeah, seven of swords. Yep, that false mask. It's going to come off. Yeah. Are they going to sneak away to get to you? Take it out of resonance with the seven of swords. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, the fool. Yep. Yeah, the fool. They're coming taking this leap of faith towards you. The lovers, yeah. They gotta take this, they gotta take this mask off. Seven of swords. Yeah, deceit, betrayal. Okay. Why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here, spirit? Yeah, four of cups. Yeah. Yeah, they gotta stop lying about the fact that they wanna they wanna offer you more. Mm-hmm. Yep. And lay something to rest. Why is that? See a flipper. The world. Yeah. Yeah, they got to close out this. They have to close out this cycle of being deceitful. And come correct with you. And offer you something that's worth offering. Lay, lay some things to rest. And have a new cycle with you. Yeah, the sun. Absolutely. Yeah, Leo energy here. What else off the top for this one? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, new a happy new beginning. Yeah, so their person is mask off, mask off. Fuck it, mask on. 
<laughs> that's basically what this is right here. Yeah, seven of swords. So they know that in order to have forward movement with you to have this offer, they have to lay this this deceit to rest. They have to come out of this seven of swords energy. Okay, not being honest. Okay, what's the full lead? Uh, yeah, Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. Want to take a leap of faith? Okay, they they want to come towards you too because Libra gang gang, you guys are beautiful. You embody the Queen of Wands energy, very um, very vivacious, very beautiful, very alluring. Okay, and there look like they said, I'm so attracted to you. Like, yeah, this is that Queen of Wands energy. They are they baby, they think you are everything okay and you got the lovers here gemini energy you could be dealing with the uh, gemini to get how it resonates okay what's the queen of wands though off the top yeah seven of cups okay so this person is mesmerized by you but they also see you having a lot of options they want to come towards you off the top yeah ah will of fortune yeah yeah there's a change yeah, and they and they know they need to come out of these illusions. Yeah, temperance. Yep, and bring back balance, peace, and harmony to this connection. More Sagittarian energy here. Yeah, baby. What's the lovers? What's the lovers? Give me the lovers. Drop it. Yeah, nine of wands. Yeah, so they coming in very much uh, <laughs> defending this this love connection with the nine of wands. Very much the wounded warrior type of energy. Okay. Oh, that's a lot, spirit. I didn't know that made you click over. It won't drop it. Yeah. Nine of Cups. Look it. Yeah. Yeah. Because somebody did try to block this wish fulfillment, but they can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look at that. Nine of Wands. I mean, Nine of Cups. Nine of Wands to the Nine of Cups. Yep. You are wish fulfillment to this person. Yep. And they, they miss you. They feel so left out in the cold by you. They feel so left out in the cold by you, right? You guys could have just, you know, they, they, they heart is throbbing. Yeah, but look, six of wands, victory and success. It's just like, I cannot be left out in the cold by my baby no more. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they coming in slow. They coming in slow, you know, very slow, very steady. They're being very strategic now about how they approach you. Yep, seven of wands, but they coming to defend you. And, and, and coming to fight for you, okay? They're going to beat off any competition that's around this connection. Yeah, because too much of a heavy burden to be without you. Ten of Wands energy again. Exactly. Using their highest intuition. Intuition when it comes to you, okay? High Priestess energy. Cancerian energy. Yeah, they want this Ace of Cups. They, they, they're finally waking up. They're like, they're getting the wake up call. You know what I'm saying? All these secrets and things like that. They, they about to let release all of that. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Cause you're the star. More creating energy. You are the wish. And they're, they're going to make this wish come true regardless when it comes to this connection. But a lot of things needed to unfold behind the scenes in order for this, uh, love to come in, um, or whatever they have to fight off a lot of people behind the scenes unbeknownst to you a lot of arguments petty fights what's going on behind the scenes i strongly believe and know that to be true yeah what else is it okay yeah queen of pentacles here yeah queen of pentacles yeah three of wands okay so there's some traveling plans coming um coming in yeah king of pentacles yeah so they're coming in to get you queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles so when you guys you guys could be a power couple queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles three of wands you guys <clears throat> i feel like you both are in your power as well your financial power um you guys could be a power couple together queen of pentacles and king of pentacles i see a flipper hold on yeah the emperor absolutely thank you spirit aries energy yeah what else spirit yep six of swords yeah so they're gonna come in um to um to, uh, and move to calmer waters with you yep they're traveling towards you this emperor is traveling towards you or whatever because when you guys do get together you're gonna be a mega power couple together they know this that's why they're not letting you go. Come on, what I say? Reunion, six of cups. 
yeah, this is this is someone who cannot stop thinking about you. They they are nostalgic about you. Everything about you is beautiful, warm, loving. You get what I'm saying? They just nine of cups. There it is. Nine of wands. There it is. Into the nine of cups again. Yeah, they're coming in. You know what I'm saying? To have this wish fulfillment. Wounded warrior and all. It's just like I'm wounded, but baby, I'm here. <laughs> type of energy all right libra gang gang so this is your bonus reading i hope it resonated with you guys i hope it gave you some additional insight into your situations um it's so funny because anytime i do a libra reading this is the energy i'm surrounding you guys when it comes to your love life um you guys out of all of the zodiac i feel like some of the other zodiacs they go through are pretty tough too but my god the <laughs> It sounds biased in some cases, but the reality of it is Libra gang can't be going through the most. And it's like, you feel like you can't even talk to talk to nobody about it the way it be coming in. Because it's like, you so busy trying to help everybody in their they love situation and yo, your shit be just like crazy. <laughs> you know how nobody to talk to the same way. Like nobody understands what Libra be going through behind the scenes. We so busy healing everybody else. So it's like we had time to give our own selves some self-love and healing, right? But yeah, this is what's coming in. Um, God is, and Spirit is recognizing um, your hard work, you know, the love, um, how you've done things with loving grace. Um, and you're being rewarded for that. And that's a good thing. So congratulations to you guys for that. All right, love buds. Um, I hope. To see you guys on the next read, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button. If you guys want to book a personal reading um, and or sign up for a how to read tarot class, um, for uh, that's that class is in March. March it's a uh, it's a two day live Zoom class, March twenty fifth and twenty sixth. That class is four hundred and fifty dollars. You can book that as well on the website, which is in the description box below. As well as um, if you need to, um, if you're interested in that class and you want to be set up on an automatic payment plan, um, instead of paying the four fifty dollars up front, you could just pay up until the deadline um, time. Um, you can do that and um, I will set you, uh, just email me direct at realloveterrell at gmail.com and I'll set you up on an automatic payment plan, okay? So that, you know, you find another way. Make it a little bit more affordable if you guys don't have the 450 up front. That's fine. I love you guys so much and I'll see you on your next read, babies. Bye.